Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnix YouTube channel. In this video, we will recall synthetic division and we will identify remainders in division of polynomials using the remainder theorem. Let's have a review first. Find the quotient and the remainder when x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4 is divided by x minus 2. Arrange first the dividend in descending order. Equate the divisor to 0 that is equal to x minus 2 equals 0 wherein x is equal to 2. 2 now will be our multiplier. Then write all the numerical coefficients of the dividend that is 1, negative 4, 0, and negative 4. Bring down the first numerical coefficient which is equal to 1, 1 times 2, that is 2, plus negative 4, equals negative 2, negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4, negative 4 plus 0, that is negative 4, and negative 4 times 2, which is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 added to negative 4 is equal to negative 12. Since negative 12 is the last number, negative 12 will be our remainder. Take note that the quotient is 1 degree lower than the degree of the polynomial. Therefore, the answer is x squared minus 2x minus 4 minus 12 all over x minus 2. What is the remainder theorem? The remainder theorem states that when we divide the polynomial p of x by x minus c, the remainder is p of c. Let us apply the remainder theorem in the example in our review. Find the remainder when x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4 is divided by x minus 2. The value of x here using the divisor is equal to 2. Therefore, we will have p of 2 is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4. Substitute 2 in all the values of x in the given equation. That is equal to 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 squared minus 4. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 8 minus 16 minus 4, which is equal to negative 12. As you can see, the remainder in the remainder theorem is the same as the remainder that we got using the synthetic division, which is equal to negative 12. Let's have another example. Find the remainder when 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 13 is divided by x minus 3. The value of x in our divisor is equal to 3. Therefore, we will have p of 3 is equal to 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 13. Substituting the value of x by 3, we will then have 3 times 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared, minus 4, times 3, minus 13. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 3, times 27, minus 2, times 9, minus 4, times 3, minus 13. Getting the product of all multiplication operations, we will then have 81, minus 18, minus 12, minus 13, which will give us P of 3, equals 38. That means the remainder when we divide 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 13 by x minus 3 is equal to 38. Find the remainder when 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x minus 12 is divided by x minus 2. Using our divisor, solve for the value of x and that is equal to 2. Therefore, we will have p of 2 is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x minus 12. Substituting the values of x by 2, we will then have 2 times 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 7 times 2 minus 12. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 2 times 8 plus 3 times 4 minus 7 times 2 minus 12, which is the same as 16 plus 12, minus 14, minus 12, or simply P of 2 
is equal to positive 2. Therefore, the remainder, when we divide 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x minus 12 by x minus 2, is equal to 2. Find the remainder when 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 6 is divided by x plus 1. The value of x using our divisor is equal to negative 1. Therefore, we will have p of negative 1 is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. Substituting all x by negative 1, that is equal to 3 times negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 6. Simplifying all the exponents, we will then have 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4 times negative 1 plus 6. Or simply, negative 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is equal to p of negative 1 is equal to 9. Therefore, our remainder is positive 9. Find the remainder when 2x to the 4th minus 9x cubed plus 14x squared minus 8 is divided by x plus 2. Using our divisor, the value of x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, we will have p of negative 2 equals 2x to the 4th minus 9x cubed plus 14x squared minus 8. Substituting all the values of x by negative 2, we will then have 2 times negative 2 to the 4th minus 9 times negative 2 cubed plus 14 times negative 2 squared minus 8, which is equal to 2 times 16 minus 9 times negative 8 plus 14 times 4 minus 8. Simplifying the multiplication operations, we will then have p of negative 2 equals 32 plus 72 plus 56 minus 8 or simply p of negative 2 is equal to 152. That means that our remainder is 152. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The remainder theorem states that when we divide the polynomial p of x by x minus c, the remainder is p of c. Let us now check your knowledge. Solve for the following. Please pause the video while you are answering the activity. Let us now discuss your answers. Find the remainder when 6x squared plus 3x minus 9 is divided by x minus 1. Using our divisor, the value of x is equal to 1. Therefore, we will then have p of 1 is equal to 6x squared plus 3x minus 9. Substituting all x by 1, that is equal to 6 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 9. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to 6 plus 3 minus 9, or simply, p of 1 is equal to 0. That means that there is no remainder in our given. Find the remainder when 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 2 is divided by x plus 2. Using our divisor, the value of x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, we will then have p of negative 2 is equal to 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 2. Substituting x by negative 2, that is equal to 3 times negative 2 cubed minus 7 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 minus 2. Simplifying the exponents, we will then have 3 times negative 8 minus 7 times 4, plus 5 times negative 2, minus 2, which is equal to negative 24, minus 28, minus 10, minus 2, or simply, p of negative 2 is equal to negative 64. That means that our remainder is equal to negative 64. Find the remainder when 4x to the 4th plus 5x cubed plus 8x squared is divided by x minus 4. Using our divisor, solve for the value of x and that is equal to 4. That means that we will have p of 4 is equal to 4x to the 4th plus 5x cubed plus 8x squared. Substituting x by 4, that is equal to 4 times 4 to the 4th plus 5 
times 4 cubed plus 8 times 4 squared. Simplifying all the exponents, that is equal to 4 times 256 plus 5 times 64 plus 8 times 16. Or simply, 1024 plus 320 plus 128, which is equal to P of 4 equals 1472. Therefore, our remainder is 1472. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!